Good afternoon, our neighbors. How, How are, are you, you doing? doing? Are, are you feeling, feeling okay? okay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time for entertainment news. Now we're starting with this. Blossom Chukujeku's marriage reportedly hits the rocks. There are reports that Nigerian actor Blossom Chukujeku's three-year marriage to his wife Maureen Assisi has hit the rocks. According to blogger Stella Dimokokokus, Blossom has even moved out of their matrimonial home and there have been whispers about whether the alleged crash is as a result of the couple's inability to have children. The blogger, however, claims that the reason for their split could be linked to Blossom still being romantically involved with his ex-girlfriend and actress Lillian Sorrow, who is said to be pregnant by him. The only thing that has been confirmed so far is that the couple has unfollowed one another on Instagram. Blossom has also deleted all the photos of his wife and himself on his Instagram page, while Maureen still has Blossom's photos on her page. Lilian Asoro has reacted to the allegations to clear her names, and in an interview she said, Please, I am not with Blossom, and we have not spoken for some time since our last movie. I am not pregnant for him. Jesus Christ, is that how one gets pregnant? I am really shocked. Please leave me out of this story. I am not involved. Whoever involved me in this story must be joking. I am not pregnant for anyone. Maybe it's another Lillian. Blossom is not staying with me. This is what she said. I'm talking about Lillian um, Esoro. Okay, so I mean, I, I saw a recent development last night on um, the popular blog on Instagram. And um, it, um, this same Stella Dimokokos came up saying that, you know, she's been able to talk to someone, an insider, and it happens to be that the reason the marriage broke up was because um, Maureen was, um, you know, allegedly cheating on her husband. She went to London, and by the time she, um, she got back, he found out some things. He, um, she also said something about um, how she's disrespectful, like she constantly disrespects Blossom, and mm. how some people on set, you know, they say she, she comes on set to see him, and she's giving everyone an attitude. Mm. She has an attitude. She's it's different stuff, but it's not because Blossom you know, impregnated anyone else. Yes, the couple has not been able to, um, you know, she's not been able to get pregnant or whatever it is, but it said it was her decision, like her refusal to get pregnant for him or, you know, start having babies is one of the reasons, allegedly, please, before they come for me, I'm not still like <laughs> Yeah, I also, I also saw that story. Uh, and one thing that I would say is that until they come out with what their, their, their truth is. These are all allegations. Yes. And then there's always her side of the story, his and side his of the side story, of and then there's the truth. So I really don't know, but I was privileged to be on set with Blossom yesterday, and I tried to ask him about it, and he did say it is well. He obviously didn't want to talk about it, and he just wanted it to die down. Because as if you know him a little bit, you know that he's a private, private person. person yeah. So it was quite shocking, you know, the, the way it was carried out. And I actually don't like that method of um, the way that some bloggers operate. Now, you just have a story you have not confirmed from either parties, and you're just posting it out there. I, I don't know how to feel about that. So it was obviously ad actually affected him. He didn't look yeah. so great and everything. So OK, so as you said that, um, well, we have to all these allegations, and we have to hear from them. So I would really like us to hear from them to mm -hmm. know what it is, actually, uh, if they choose to talk about it, and if they do not choose to talk about it. I mean, we move. Exactly. It's just because they're in public eye, and that mm -hmm. is the reason people just want to know about What's their going life. On, yeah. Yes. So it's good that when people just want to be uh, respected, we just leave it at that. All mm. right. So moving on. <laughs> All right. That Yemi Alade and Tiwa Savage collaboration may never happen. Many have wondered if two of Nigeria's finest female musicians, Tiwa Savage and Yemi Alade, would ever get into the studio and do something for the fans. Well, if you're one of the helpful ones, you might need to give up hope because Yemi Alade does not believe it would ever happen. In an interview on The Juice, when asked if she would like to collaborate with Tiwa, Yemi Alade said, I don't know how to answer this question. She went on to add in that it's unfortunate that with the troubles that people keep staring in our ways, it probably will never allow us to ever have a collaboration because you're not sure the outcome would even be positive or be overrun by negative things and all the fights. When we do music, we do it so people can be happy. Oh, so when we do a song together, what are we feeling? What are we encouraging? That's the most important question. Tiwa doesn't quite seem to agree, though. When asked in an interview last week which female Nigerian artist she would like to collaborate with, she said, oh man, there is many, many queens, man. Come on! 
someone like Yemi Alade just drops an incredible body of work. Uh, huge shout out to her. Um, who doesn't like Tenny the Entertainer? Like she's incredible. Simi Niniola Waje Omaomi. You might recall that Yemi Alade recently released a Woman of Steel album, which Iwa congratulated her on. Okay, so, so the, the, hmm, do you want to say something? <laughs> what do you guys think? The first thing I'm going to say about this is, um, um, just in case people don't know, this interview was pre-recorded. So it's a recorded show. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it didn't happen last week or anything. So mm -hmm. I'm sure if um, Tiwa had posted the whole um, um, Yemi Alade's video or um, album before mm -hmm. this interview, uh, our opinion or our answer to that question would have been different. But at the time, there was still the old Tiwa yeah. versus Yemi Alade. So, I mean, the only thing she could have said was that. However, I don't understand her response. I'm a huge Yemi Alade fan, everybody knows that. But I'm like, if people are saying that you both have beef, the best thing to do is to come together to do, you know, to do um, a song, like collaborate. And it will make everyone quiet. Hmm. And you know, it zip. might not make everyone quiet. It might not. She, she's she's right. It it could work both ways. The way I see it, I feel like it could be on a positive angle way. She's like, oh my gosh, look at two of the strongest female mm -hmm. artists on a song. Oh yes, very good. We like it. Or it could go, oh, I think Tiwa's verse was better. Or I think Yemi Alade's verse was better. So which is what I think she was trying to say. That what is the motive of doing this song? If the motive is to appear like they're good and they do this song together, the comment section is going to affect them because their fans are going to come and pick sides. It happens all the time. So even when you see features with the likes of of Davido and Kiss Daniel and, you know, Whiskey and Davido. It's just like having a song together of both of them. There will definitely be a comparison. So it now depends on where they are mentally. If they're mm. ready to say, despite all the backlash or things or criticisms that we might receive, we're doing this together because we want to work together, not because we're trying to put up a front. Because this has happened before in, uh, with international acts like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj yeah. on that motor, uh, motorsport song. And look mm -hmm. at the outcome. It just even made their beef even bigger. Worse, yeah. So I think that's where okay, she was coming I think from. I, get where she's coming from I then. think that um, Yemi understood what she was saying. Okay, because you said that it was pre-recorded and that yes, it, it came before. So I would say to you that perhaps if asked again, Yemi would give that answer uh, because at the end of the day who is the market i mean these people who are feeling the whole beef and uh, they might just be comparing and i have listened to yemi on a particular radio station before i was just driving and she was be, uh, granting the interview right there and she said that the things people say get to her she is mm -hmm. a human being mm -hmm. and if she understands herself so much and then people come and start comparing which people would always do yeah. in fact sometimes the song is your song and they're saying that somebody it looks like the other person's song that person has a <laughs> signature tune and all that and uh, well if you understand yourself then it's just better to stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I understand it now. All right, moving on to the next story. Finally, Teddy A and Bam Bam are traditionally hitched. Whoop. Okay, not too long ago, we brought you news that popular BB Niger double Wahala couple, Tokpe Adenio, aka Teddy A, and Bamike Olaomi, aka Bam Bam, recently got engaged. Well, social media was taken over by even more excitement over the weekend as the couple held their introduction and traditional marriage ceremonies. Now, the marriage ceremony, which is said to have taken place in Ilaro, Ogun State, saw some of the couple's fellow Big Brother Niger housemates turn up for the event, including Sisi, Nina, Chloe. You know, everybody was there. Congratulations to the couple. Yeah. We wish you guys nothing but the best. They shut yeah. down the internet last yeah. night. Or was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yesterday. They shut it down. Yeah. Like everywhere. Bam they Teddy. Them, so yeah. many speculations. Some people are saying she might be pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. People, um, yeah. Someone yeah. sent a video to me. Someone at the wedding, funny enough, sent, sent a video to me saying, oh, she's actually heavily pregnant. I'm like, um, you're supposed to be their friend. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, why are you sending me videos? Like, no, look at her cheek. Look, I'm calm down. Oh my God. If they want you to know, they will want you. To, they will tell mm. you. What we know is they are getting married. End of story. Well, and we're happy for they're them. They're married. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Amen. They looked fantastic. Very happy. Yeah. The clothes they changed to, like some three times or thereabouts. Mm. A beautiful couple. And they and looked we wish happy. them the best. Yes. So you know, I was happy. talking to someone and I'm like, I'm so happy for these people that they could quickly just make up their mind and, and do what they have to do. And that person exactly. said, Well, should we say we're happy yet? Let's give them some five years. And I'm like, Be yeah, happy, be for happy them. For Stop <laughs> all of this. <laughs> then did you see when somebody was talking about, you know, uh, Teddy A having the earpiece? Oh, yes. Yeah. Look, people I, I didn't want to bring it up, but like, I thought. 
thought it was weird. I mean, how? And somebody was asking the question that, what, what important call do you want to receive on your okay, wedding so day? Okay, so let me speak on behalf of the people that wear AirPods. So there's sometimes that I take pictures and at the end of the day, I, I don't post them because I'm like, oh, my goodness, my AirPod was on. You don't, you just get used to it. You don't know, you're not aware that you have anything in your ear. That's the honest truth. You're not aware. Like, you just feel like, oh, you're probably wearing earrings or something. And he, I'm sure he didn't know. I'm sure, very sure. Because when I said, I was like, his airport was on. Oh, okay, so somebody is screaming, I beg in a lie. He knew. Maybe it's some fashion accessories for no, some people. Not. I don't know, maybe. So nobody even so, saw so, it. So, okay. I mean, as you said, no, it's a possibility mm -hmm. that he forgot about it. I but then it was in so many pictures. But I, I actually observed that it was I, just I, with I, yeah. one outfit. Mm -hmm. The very first outfit he wore, the orange and black. So it's possible that he forgot somebody about noticed. it. But mm -hmm. somebody should have told him. Yeah. Because he just, yeah. It was because, just like yeah, weird, a little it bit went, weird. Yeah, a little bit. Because <laughs> the first picture I saw, I had to look close, like, what are these things? Are they dangling earrings like I could And please, see. it's not a fashion trend, guys, because I know that this is about to be a fashion trend. It's People, not. <laughs> you'll be shocked. You'll just see some it's men not. now be going up and down with it. It was a mistake. Let's leave it like that. Okay. Congratulations, <laughs> guys. We wish you nothing but the best, okay? Kisses oh, wow. love, hugs. <laughs> yeah, so we're so happy for Big yeah. Brother couple. Yes, love reigns here. Okay, it is time for our celebrity birthday shout outs. Now, today we are celebrating the following people award winning English actor and f film producer Huge Grant. He turns 59 today happy and birthday. he has enjoyed major success following his roles in the 1994 film Four Weddings and a Funeral. Ah, yes, Hugh Grant. I remember, yeah. 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 It's a very good one. Okay, we also have Grammy Award winning Canadian singer songwriter Michael Bublé, who turns 44 today. Happy birthday! <laughs> He's popular for hit songs like Home and Haven't Met You, Haven't Met, you Met, okay. uh, amongst many, many other songs. Uh, we also have American actor, comedian, screenwriter, and film producer Adam Sandler, who is turning 53 today. Oh, yes, so effortlessly talented. If you need a good laugh, an Adam Sandler movie is always, <laughs> always a good idea. Happy yeah. birthday happy to birthday. them. Happy and happy birthday. birthday to you who is celebrating today. We're wishing you the best. More love, more peace, more happiness, more money, whatever, more grace, whatever your heart is. More, more grace, yes. More, more, more. Happy of birthday that. to you. And more birthday. is splash, okay? Ah! Now it's time to find out what we have for you on Rewind and Man Crush Monday. Check this out.